Hello everyone, this is a Professor J. Kim. Today I'm going to show you how to create three different types of a carousel slideshow using Adobe XD. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, that's a big help, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, so um, please download the, um, uh, the four images from the link down below. Uh, four supercar images and then this is the first carousel slideshow we're gonna make in Adobe XD so let's see uh, how it works so there are four images you can just uh, drag it to the next and the next just like this this is a pretty simple <clears throat> simple okay so first let me create a new document I'm going to choose the um, just the yeah, 1280 pixel by 800 and let me under view menu let me show layout grid okay so first the thing is I'm going to draw uh, one rectangle I'm going to use my um, uh, layout grid to make it fit in this area like that okay and then I don't want to have a border and then a fill color for now just temporarily in light gray I want to have a rounded corner just like that much okay so first I'm gonna have a copy of this hold down the option keep pressing your mouse button and the shift key and let me make a copy right there okay I'm gonna have more copies option keep pressing and the shift key drag it right next to it and one more option keep pressing shift and next to it so I keep the other kind of uh, the even space okay looks good then open the finder and these four images just a drag and drop the first one goes there second one goes to here third and the last okay then select everything and we're gonna group them object group okay so select this let me zoom in a little bit and then once you choose your group in your properties panel on right you're gonna see this button scroll groups choose that so um basically it is done let me see how it works play see but uh, the each image is not placing in center so we're gonna control that close it so first uh, once you apply that they are scrolling things you see the blue tabs on both sides so I'm gonna move it to here and here and let's see play so it looks a little better but the problem is the third one and another last one and the first one they are not in center so we're gonna control that so first select your group double click then you're gonna see on your properties panel the padding options choose the padding so this will control the other extra space on both sides so I'm going to choose the second option. So we're going to, we can control the other padding, the spacing, top, bottom, left, and the right. So maybe on here, the second one, I'm going to have 140 pixels. And the last one, 140 pixels. And let's see. First, it is centered, almost. So it looks good. Okay. And then I'm going to add one more to make it more, a little bit more interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle on left hand side about this size. And no border. And the fill color, I'm going to uh, click on this drop down menu from the solid color to linear gradient. And then I'm going to move my um, uh, beginning point 
up to there somewhere there and then my second point I'm gonna place it right there okay and then open your fill my second point is a light gray I'm gonna choose the white and let me set my opacity value down to zero so like this okay now let me select this double click this box and hold down the option keep pressing and the shift key and make a copy to the right end and place your mouse cursor a little close to the corner see that and hold down the shift key you can rotate 180 and let's take a look play see it is kind of fading okay so this is the first one it's pretty simple now carousel number two let's see how it works first let me pr preview it I can go to our next point next next slide next previous 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 so it is much more interactive and more dynamic okay so first create a new document same size and I'm gonna turn on layout grid okay so first the thing is let me draw one rectangle like that I'm going to set my uh, no border and the fill color to light gray for now. And then I'm going to round it just like that. Okay. So this is my first one. And then I'm going to make a copy of this to the left first. Option, click, keep pressing your mouse button and the shift to there. And I'm going to make it smaller. Option, shift, maybe about this size and there okay I'm gonna make more copies of this option keep pressing your mouse button and the shift key drag it there and one more option keep pressing shift and there okay so let me zoom out okay so four images the same images we're gonna use my first one go there second one Go there, third, and the fourth. So four images total. Okay. Next thing is, uh, I'm going to select this first one and the second one. And let me change the opacity value down to 30%. Only these two. Okay and then select everything together and then let me group them object and group so in your layers let me take a look see I want to have a correct order so this is the first one this is number two this is number three I'm gonna move it down number four oops go back number three and number four so one two three and four looks good okay so now from here this is my first one and then uh, like we did on my the first uh, carousel I want to make it fade out so let me draw one rectangle there about this size okay and then no border and the fair color uh, I'm gonna change it from the solid color to linear gradient and then let me move this my second point to there and the second point color I'm gonna set to white and then pass the value down to zero it's gonna be fading out like this I'm gonna have a copy of this file option keep pressing shift 
move it to the right end and rotate 180 just like that okay so it looks good now select your entire artboard I'm gonna make a copy of this hold down the option keep pressing on the um, um, <clears throat> your artboard name keep pressing shift and make a copy to the bottom okay in my second page I'm gonna change the settings so in my second page let me select my group okay and then select your third image this one I'm gonna change the opacity value first I'm gonna make it bigger like that and let me move it to the center okay so it looks good now let me select the uh, slide card number two which is my which is the under this so I'm gonna hit the uh, my um, uh, left arrow key on my keyboard keep pressing you see that it is moving this one so I'm gonna move it to here gonna make it smaller let me zoom in a little bit make it smaller that size I'm gonna move back to here then my first image I keep pressing my the left arrow key see I'm gonna move it to here okay so this second image now will have the 30 percent of opacity value like this okay now I have one more image this one move to right there and set the opacity value down to 30 percent okay so let's link first and see how it works oops okay so I'm going to prototype menu and select the, your second image I mean the third image this one and then from here we're gonna link to this page and then in your properties panel trigger is tap and the type is gonna be auto animate and then an um, easing option I'm gonna choose easy in and out and then from here when we click on this one we're supposed to go back to this page drag it and same thing tap automate animate and the easing option this time is out and let's play it when I click on this it is working back forward and the backward same way I'm gonna repeat the same steps uh, for others so at uh, this time I'm gonna select this artboard uh, let me go back to design mode this artboard hold down the option keep pressing and the shift key so uh, let me make a copy and I'm gonna change the layout of this page as I did double click your group and move this one to here first and let me zoom in make it bigger about the same size okay I'm gonna change the other opacity value up to 100% and I'm gonna move to the center so that's the location and my um, super card number three keep pressing the, your left arrow key once you see that then move to that point and then I'm gonna make it smaller option okay my uh, super card number two see I'm gonna change the opacity value so I can see it go there 
Okay, so program number one. That is this one. 100%. I'm going to place it there. Okay. And this one, I need to change the opacity value down to 30%. 30%. Okay. So, same thing. Let me go to prototype. I'm going to make a link from this one. Double click the last one and link to this page. Tag auto animate and is in and out and from here to the previous page link to the previous page everything's the same just change the easing option to is out so let me play it it is working so we have one more left to the very first one so uh, for the first one, what I'm going to do is I'm going back to design. Let me zoom out. Let me choose the other first one we created. Hold down the option, keep pressing, and make a copy to the top. Okay. And then let me zoom in here. Let me select my group. Double click my first one. I'm going to change the opacity value up to 100%. And I'm going to make it bigger first. Option, keep pressing and the shift. Make it bigger. About this size. And then I'm going to place it in the center. There. It's there. Okay. And then my second image. Go to the right. See that? I'm going to move it there and opacitive value 30 percent and I'm going to make it smaller option keep pressing and the shift key and I'm going to line up there looks good and my third image keep pressing the right arrow key 100 percent you go there looks good my last image keep pressing the right arrow key and goes there and same thing go to prototype select your second image link to the next page tab auto animate is in and out and then from here select back to the first page and is out so we are all set you can go there you can go back next 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 it's pretty cool isn't it okay so um, kerosene number two is done. Okay, so uh, kerosene number three. So that is this. So let's take a look. Forward, 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 backward. And you can jump from the image number one to image number four, or two, three, anywhere you are. So it's pretty cool. Okay, so let me... Let's do that first. So I'm um, pleased to download the, these four images also. Okay. So in XD, I'm going to create a new file. 1280 pixel. Okay. So first the thing is, I'm going to import my first image. This. Okay. I'm going to have some text on it. So let me type something. concept number one I'm gonna set my fill color to white and Helvetica bold and type size a little bit bigger like a 30 point okay looks good and then also I'm gonna need um, 
the dummy text. So let me draw a text box like this and my type size uh, 18 and the hair vertical just a regular and I'm going online uh, lorem ipsum some dummy text so let me copy uh, this thing so I'm gonna copy this and then back to Adobe XD and let me paste it inside uh, there are maybe a um, little too many text I'm gonna delete stop somewhere here let me delete them and okay looks good and also um, yeah I think it looks good so this is my text so this is my first one so I'm gonna select the whole thing and let me group command G under object menu and group them okay so this is a group number one group number one or let me rename it as concept number one and also I'm gonna make a copy of this hold on the control or right click duplicate it and concept number two one is here we have two okay so select the number two and open your finder with the images in number two just drag and drop and then I'm gonna change the text as concept number two okay so same thing control or the right click duplicate it this time concept number three so this is concept number three this one one two and three select and replace the image by dragging number three and I'm gonna retype the text as concept number three okay and I need one more concept number three control or right click duplicate it and that one is gonna be concept number four that is this thing here concept number four and let me change the text as a concept number four and also at the same time I'm gonna replace my image as my number four okay so we have four this is a four three two and one so select everything now go to object menu and group them okay and inside the group double click I'm gonna rearrange it so let me zoom out a little bit like that so this is number one this is number two right next to it see and number three right next to it and number four right next to it okay so this is the uh, entire group I'm going to place it somewhere there let me zoom in next step is I'm going to draw one rectangle let me zoom out I'm going to draw rectangle covering my first concept image there like that okay color doesn't matter okay so there are uh, two things in my layers rectangle one and the groups with my all uh, four images select both hold down the shift key and select both then hold down the control or right click you're going to see that mask with shape 
So that's of my for that's my first scene here. Okay, and also I'm gonna have the kind of uh, the um, icons go backward and the forward things. So if you go online, you can go to fonts.google.com slash and icons. And there are all uh, the, uh, the symbols and icons we can use. And I downloaded this arrow circle left, this one. So um, please download that. As the, once you choose it, I downloaded the SVG file. So I can have some more controls. So I'm going to import that. That's in my download folder and arrow circle open it see it's pretty big let me make it smaller about this size okay I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna change the fill color to um, light blue like that okay and then uh, since I'm gonna keep using this color this one uh, in my asset panel on the uh, your left bottom corner, this asset libraries, uh, I'm going to <clears throat> add this color in my library, so I can keep using it. Okay. Then now, let me choose my um, ellipse tool. I'm going to place my mouse cursor in the center. Hold down the Option, keep pressing, and the Shift key and drag it. Okay. And then border color no the field color I'm gonna have really dark gray like that then in your layers panel go to layers on the bottom left corner I'm gonna move this ellipse to the bottom see that's a pretty cool button so select both and group them I'm gonna rename this group as a left okay so let me zoom out let me place it there okay and then I'm gonna have another copy of this this left arrow hold on the control or right click and duplicate it I'm gonna rename it as a right so this is the right move it to the right and rotate 180 okay so we're getting in there. Next, also, I'm going to have that kind of uh, the pill style, the button on the bottom. So four buttons. So let me draw one rectangle, just like that. I don't want to have a border, but also I want to have this blue. And we store them in the library as an asset. Choose that. See? And I want to the round the corner. Okay. So I have one button and let me hold down the option keep pressing mouse button and the shift I want to have the uh, uh, four buttons like that okay so first one is in blue this is where I am my second third and the fourth one uh, I want to have a border and the field color I want to set to white okay and then let me select all fours and let me place it center okay so this is my very first scene first carousel now next step is select everything and we're gonna save it as a component it is under object menu and make a component command K so next step is once you make as a component select your component and take a look at the, your properties panel on right you will see that uh, the component 1-1 default state. What we're going to do is click here as a new state, state number 2. That is state number 2. On state number 2, I need to change the settings. So um, my, in state number 2, I need to show my second image. So double click your group, this car, move it. To here and also on state number two 
I need to change my button properties. This button, I want to have a white fill and the gray border. My second one, I want to have this fill. This is state number two. Same thing. In your default state, state number two is selected. This time, choose new state, state number three. So we are in state number three. So double click, double click your group, concept number three. There. Your button, white. My third button, this fill, I don't want to have a border. Okay, now select your um, component again. Choose, uh, choose, uh, select another one, new state, state number four. That's state number four. Double click, double click. Concept number four goes here. And my button, white fill, and gray border. My fourth button, no border, and this blue. Okay, so let's take a look. This is a default state, number two, number three, and number four. Now we just need to link it together. So now go to prototype. From the default state, when we click this, we're supposed to go to the state number two. So double click this right button, click on this blue tab, in properties panel, tab, and the type is supposed to be auto animate and destination is state number two. I'll do the same thing in here. In this button, click, tab auto animate, and we're jumping to state number two. From third button, choose that, auto animate, destination is stage number three. The fourth button, click on this blue, state number four. So this one is done. Now, state number two, same thing. From this the left button, double click, tab, auto animate, destination is default state. And this right button, click, supposed to go to state number three. On each button, I need to make a link to default state, this one go to three, this one goes to number four. Next, state number three. This button brings me state number two. This button brings me to state number four. This button brings me to default. State number two, that, state number four. And the last, state number four. Double click, brings me to state number three. This one, we don't, we're not gonna use it. That one brings me to default, this one. State number two, that, state number three. We're all set, so let's see, play, Back, back, back. And I can jump from page to page wherever I am. Okay. So um, I hope that you enjoy this and that you can use it for your future um, XD project. So maybe you can make it some kind of a gallery page or you may make some kind of e-commerce kind of shopping site using this from item to item okay so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time